Whoa, Max Pacioretty, bro, bro, bro. The Canadians have acquired forwards Tatar and Suzuki at a second in 2019 for Max Pacioretty. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me just. Whew, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna think about this a little bit. I just saw the trade on the tweet a few seconds ago. I turned on the microphone. Here we are. I'm rendering a video right now that's supposed to go up later tomorrow. But oh my, it's 10:14 p.m. It's 10:14. Oh my gosh. I know Grav is probably going to make a video right now. Hockey Circles most likely got his own thing going on. He's a Montreal fan. Go check everybody out. But, oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look at this for a little bit. Max Pacioretty, we know what Pacioretty's going through. That golf tournament and everything, yeah, that's not going to happen anymore most likely. Or maybe it might, who knows. Montreal's got a whole bunch of guys who have been doing really good philanthropic things throughout their organization. P.K. Subban, Pacioretty, and all that. Okay. But, they're now gone. Pacioretty, as a consistent 30-goal guy, just not in the most previous season, but a player who is definitely able to maintain those numbers. A player who is now a Vegas Golden Knight. Boy, Vegas is really making a splash here. I know, um... Grav and Hockey Circle have seen this. Ryan Mac Hockey has seen this too. I don't know what Louis thinking about this. VGK coverage, bro, I wonder what he is thinking. I know he was really, really high on Suzuki, so... Oh, my goodness. But, taking a look at this trade, just immediate reactions. Patch ready to Vegas for Tatar Suzuki in a second. Second, pretty good. You know, you always want to get good draft picks. Second round picks are really valuable nowadays. They're basically late firsts because everybody after like 20 up until like the 90 range is low-key interchangeable nowadays. But Tatar is a player who didn't really do the best that he could have playing for the Vegas Golden Knights in the playoffs and all that after being traded from Detroit. And everybody was kind of thinking at the time of that trade, okay, um, Vegas just sent their first, their second, and their third over to Detroit for Tatar? Tatar better be really good. Just saying. He wasn't. And now, Vegas gets themselves Pacioretty instead. And they had to give up another 2019 second because they acquired that pick from Columbus, and they also had to give up Suzuki who is a really good young player who played in the OHL, 100 points, 64 games for the Owen Sound attack, drafted 13th overall in 2017. Like, bro, Vegas actually got themselves a really good set of prospects in that first round, Cody Glass and Suzuki, and they just got rid of Suzuki and Tatar and a second for Pacioretty. So I think in terms of value, everything sort of meshes well. Because if Montreal is able to use Tatar in a way that Vegas couldn't have, then no problems there. Domi's going to be that first line, maybe second line left winger. Tatar can come in there, be that other top six left winger. It's all good. They got themselves a new top six left winger core just from this offseason. And all it took was to get rid of Pacioretty, which was probably going to happen. We all knew that this was going to happen anyway. But in exchange, they get themselves another draft pick and they get Suzuki who is really good. I think if it was any other prospect than Suzuki or Cody Glass or Brandstrom, I would have been like, yeah, no, Montreal lost this one. But I think this one's honestly pretty even because Vegas, they don't give up anything that was already on their roster before. Tatar wasn't really all that good and Tatar was getting scratched left and right. Suzuki was a prospect and the 2019 pick is a pick. So Vegas is literally not giving up any roster spots for Pacioretty here. All they're doing is making some room, adding Pacioretty, and they just got rid of stuff that they weren't even using anyway. So I think, for now, this is a great trade for both teams, because it addresses the needs of each of them. Montreal building towards the future. The Tar, certainly he helps out the now, but he's still pretty young. Definitely younger than Pacioretty. So going over into five years in the future, the Tar can still be here, and he can still make an impact. And five years into the future, Suzuki will definitely be here, making an impact for the Montreal Canadiens in a top six, maybe even a top three role in their forward core. So overall, each team benefits from this in a really equal way. I like this trade a lot. Wow, I can't believe it. This is a great Montreal trade. Wow. Look, they got Suzuki. 
and a pick. That's great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Twitter plus, you guys are gaming, and bye. <laughs>